Hi. Yeah, it's Nick Struan here coming from Cambodia. Yes, um, today I'd like to talk to you about um, uh, something which is also very close to my heart. It's, um, you know, how to be successful and how to get something out of life. And uh, the reason that I feel qualified to talk about that is because that uh, I have made attempts for many years to actually uh, uh, do just that, become successful. And uh, in many times it had, in many years before it eluded me and, and I could not understand why that is. But I want to start a series of, um, of um, how can I say, teaching sessions, if you like, on, on how actually to achieve more in life than you perhaps have ever done previously. And um, one, of the, one of the first steps for that is to actually know exactly what it is that you want to achieve. Now, I know that sounds funny because most people, they, they say, well, I really want this and I really want that and, and whatever. And if you're not sure about how, how to sort of determine if, if what you want is really what you want is to look at the way you go after it. Because uh, many people also have wishful thinking which is like, yeah, well, if it's convenient and if it's um, warm and fussy and I can have it, you know, without too much uh, stress, then, uh, yeah, I, I would like to, to become rich or I would like to have that new car or pay off the mortgage or, or you know, similar ways to that. But that's not it, is it, right? What, what, what it is is, like, if you have a passion about something, if you notice, most times you actually achieve it. Why is that? That is, that is because that you you have a definite purpose in life. You you have something that you really really feel strongly about, and you want to achieve, and you go about it in a way that is um, not sort of haphazardly. It's not sort of like sometimes you do it and sometimes you don't. It is something that you you sort of almost attack and you stay on it and you keep moving in that direction. And that's how things that you want actually comes about. I know this is, this is perhaps a very strange type of thinking, but um, you, you really have to sort of look at it that way. And if you actually uh, follow my, my, my teaching here, you would actually find that it is actually um, one of the truths of the, the universe as such as what you are, what you think about comes about, you know, and becomes your future. So, so how do we go about finding out what it is that we want? Because that's really the next step, isn't it? You know, what, what is it that we really want? Well, one of the things that we need to do, of course, is to list all of the things that, that we, um, we sort of like or maybe think that we like. And even that is a struggle for some people, you know. You tell them, you know, well, sit down and then come up with, you know, at least 20 things that you really, really like in life or you want to have. And um, they say, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's do that. Right, okay. But they never actually do. So if we analyze that and think, why, is, why do they not do such an easy thing as to just sit down and my goodness me too i did it also right i did the same mistakes also you know like because we think well it's such an easy act i can keep it in my mind right but the fact is that you cannot you cannot keep it in your mind and you really have to put it down on paper and then you can go and look at these goals or wishes or whatever you want to call them and you can sort of you know, think about them and, and sort of put your feelings around them and, 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 and see whether they really are what you, what you want to do. You know, most people want to have money, but, you know, when you say, okay, well, to have money, you have to, you have to give away something of value to people, you know. And they say, well, what do you mean, Nick, give something away of value? Well, you have to become valuable in a, in a way. You have to, to have something or produce something or... or or do something that offers value in other people's lives, 
right? I remember the great Zig Ziglar, he says, you help enough people get what they want and you can have anything that you want. But that's not how we're thinking, is it? We normally think, well, I'm just going to go and get, right? Uh, and uh, that's it, right? But that's not how it works, unfortunately. It is not like you just get and, and, and then you give to everybody else afterward. No, I, and I know that mo most people are not selfish in their thinking. It's just that that's how we're brought up to think that, you know, let me get first and then I will help a lot of other people. No, it's actually the other way around. And this is where many, many people go the wrong way. We need to, to actually help other people first and then we receive, right? It's like the fireplace, you know, like you say, give me fire and the fire fireplace says well give me some wood and i'll give you fire <laughs> right so yeah we have to get the wood first we have to to give to people or to to find a way to to help people uh, and in that respect we actually get what we want right so but you say well i have nothing to give you know that's why i'm you know i want money because i have no money well you have to look at what other things that you do have plenty of you do have plenty of of perhaps knowledge in certain areas, you have plenty of care, you have plenty of, of um, emotions that you can, you can share with other people, you have maybe a creativity, maybe you are a good author, maybe you can write something, maybe you can paint something, maybe you can produce something that other people really benefit from. Like many times people ask me, well, you know, how can I produce my own, my own book? And you know it's, and people still think that it's a matter of, of writing and writing and writing for years, and then coming up with some sort of a bestseller like Harry Potter, and then you know get some sort of an expensive firm to produce it, and and it just becomes all too much. But look, that's not how it is. You know, if you have an experience in some area, let's say you're an engineer and and you have been working as an engineer in some area for 25 years, well, my goodness me, that's a whole story in there, right? And so you can either put that down on tape, right? Like, like just record it, you know, just sitting down talking about the, the, the events and the happenings that you remember, or you can sit down and write them down if you are that way, or you can tell someone else about them uh, who can write it down. You know, there's many ways of doing this, but the fact is that once the script is is produced well goodness me you have a great audio book that can be produced and can be sold for thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to the whole world remember the world is not the same place that you live in you know other people have not got the facilities or the opportunities that you have and maybe your words and your encouragement and your teaching will give them just what they need to get started to doing something yeah so, like, we can think of some of the countries in the world, like India, or, or, I mean, there's places there people don't even have bank accounts yet, right? They don't have the facilities, so if they can get a hold of a, of a recording online, most people have a phone now, even if you are the poorest of the poorest. You know, in, in the Philippines, I think, I visit there, and most people have three phones, right? So, uh, yeah. Because phones don't have to be the new A smartphones, you know. You just have to have a, an internet connection, and 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 you you are almost able to do anything you want in the world. The information is is available to you, you know. So how will people pay for your books and all that sort of stuff? Well, people have a tendency to get what they want, right? You know, you you you. You can try and 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 sell them something that 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 you you want, but they say no, I can't afford it. But the week after, they they buy something they really really want, and <laughs> that costs much more than you have originally offered to them. So you know we are like that. We get we normally get what we want, right? One way or the other, we we save or we borrow or we whatever, and and eventually we 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 have what we want. Like I mean, I very rarely hear somebody says you know I want an iPhone and they don't get it, right? So yeah. 
So anyway, you know, look at these things there and decide exactly what it is that you want. Sit down and spend some time. You can do it over several days, just writing down what you really, really want to, to have and be and do in your lifetime, right? And then once you've done that, then, then just hang it on the wall and go and look at it. The good place is behind the door to your, to your bedroom or, or where you live. So whenever time you open the door, you have to look at this list, right? Now, of that, collect about five of these things and prioritize them to be the first that you want to do. And then write them down on a, on a card that you carry in your pocket all the time and list them from one, two, three, four, five, right? And then every day you just go and look at this card. Have it in your card in a hard form so when you stick your hand in your pocket or, or open your purse, then you see this card and you just sort of have a look at it and, and, and just, you know, dream away about it. And, and, and you would get a feeling whether this is something that you're really, really excited about. If you're not, then put it away and, and, you know, take it off the list and put another one on there. But basically, that's what we're talking about. You know, get yourself a, a, a nice notebook so you can record all your thoughts and, and dreams in one, one area, not on loose notes everywhere. And then start writing down a list of things that you really, really want. Now, you will be absolutely amazed when you start doing that because things and circumstances around you will change. And, you know, you will meet people and circumstances that sort of almost helped you along the way. Let's say your dream is to, to have a, a new job position somewhere um, with a large company and you, you, know, you keep focusing on that in your mind and suddenly you, you go down to the laundromat and you're washing your clothes and the lady next door, she happens to be the, the, the CEO secretary and she just knows that that, that position is available and, and bang, you're in there and, and things, you know, it's amazing how these things come about. So step one, find out write a list write out find out what you want and write a list about it right and then prioritize that to get the five top things put them on a on a card and look at them every day okay you know the more the better whenever you have time sit down take the card out just look at them dream about them and see what's happened okay and it can be any wish that you want about a whole range of things, not just perhaps you want to have money and, and whatever, right? So, okay, on the next video, I will cover the track of actually what to do next, okay? So, enjoy yourself, follow my teaching, and you'll see your world will change, okay? Thanks for listening. Bye for now.